Hey everyone, welcome back to Exploring Still Connected. Um, on today's video, we're going to be installing this new slide that we just got for our truck camper garage. Um, we ordered this slide off of uh, e-trailer online, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, it is a more ride cargo slide at 26 inches wide and 72 inches long. It seems to be about the right length for this uh, garage. I'm not really sure until we put it in, uh, but it does have a 500 pound weight capacity and then it does have bi-directional slide out. This box was shipped via freight. It's over hundred pounds, I believe. We ordered UPS, dropped it off within about a week and a half. So relatively fast. Yeah. So uh, follow along. Let's see how this uh, goes on the install and then hopefully get our bikes on there and maybe hit a bike park shortly. Yeah, so Deidre's grabbing um, the hardware. It looks like it comes with the cargo tray and frame. That's what they're calling this thing. And then a universal hardware pack. So hopefully that's all we need to get this thing installed. Read and understand all instructions and warnings prior to installation. Yeah, right, you never do that. It's, it's false, I do it all the time. <laughs> Verify it clears the cargo drawer. I mean, it looks like it does. Okay, let's... Set it down. Genius, if you guys haven't ever used these, they have these little straps on the inside, you should just pull them and it separates, which is always a great thing because those things are such a pain to cut. I mean, we could probably just set it in, huh? Yeah. Okay. I think they wanted us like take it apart into two pieces. We're just gonna set it in, bolt it down. I think that seems like the easy thing to do. Oh yeah, because you could just slide it in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you good holding that while I go to the other side? Oh yeah. All right. I probably should have done that. So only one of us has a bum knee right now. You know, life choices. There's enough room in here to kind of sand up though. Careful. How close to the edge are you? Like two inches? All right, I'm gonna come out. Let's get the measuring tape and get some measurements. Either. All right, so that actually went in pretty easily. Let me grab the camera and show you what it looks like inside. So it's in, uh, we need to measure it. We have the, the cutest little pink measuring tape here. I already know we need to go further in that way, but I wanna measure it left and right. So, well, I guess we place it in and I out first. It, yeah. Um, from the edge, I'm right at one and a half inches. So measure your distance and let's split the difference. One and five eighths. So maybe a quarter inch your way? Yeah. Less than one and a half. Uh oh, too much. I mean, I don't think we really need to worry. Um, I'm gonna take this inspection tag off. Deidre easily gets distracted in case you couldn't tell. Six inches and Four and a half inches. That was probably too much. Five and a quarter, five and a quarter-ish. Okay, what am I doing? Measuring to make your sides equal. Which is what? Mine's five and a quarter. Five and a quarter, five and a quarter. And then right here, I'm just over one and a half. Yep. Just over one and a half. Perfect. Don't move anything. All right, so I think next, Pull it probably moved your, side. your side a little bit. So I think I'm gonna grab the hardware. Holy moly, this is the universal hardware kit. Yeah, I should get the instructions out. There's a lot. <laughs> What's it say? Their instructions use a much shorter slider, so it's much easier to handle. Make sure there's no wiring underneath designated location. Should be fine. We'll double check. <laughs> I don't like this should be fine thing. Secure each corner of the railing with a screw. Little screws. I think there's a lot of those. Okay, so instructions. We figured it out finally. We got these uh, little screws right here. Um, it says 
Use four of these screws per side evenly spaced to secure it down. We do have some washers, so I'm gonna go ahead and do screws through the washer into the aluminum. Hopefully that works out well. Um, I'm gonna slide this that way first. Also, I know for a fact that we don't have fuel or anything on this side. We do as def, uh, but I'm just gonna double check the length of these guys. Yeah, there's, there's nothing underneath there. We have some toolboxes on this side that this might hit, so. I think we're just gonna put them here and here. Are these self-tapping? Do you think they are? Should I give it a try? I'll give it a try. Not really self-tapping. Um, I just wanna give it a good pilot so it has plenty of teeth on the side. So we're gonna do a 532nd. Um, it's smaller than the center diameter. I'm assuming it's gonna drive itself in a little bit. It is aluminum, both the actual bed and the garage. So nice soft metal to make room for it. So I actually just uh, broke the head off on that. So I guess if you're doing something similar to this, don't put too much torque on your drill. These so I goofed on the other side, I already fixed it off camera. I forgot my washers, so now I got some washers to go on my screws. And this is our fourth corner. Okay, solid, all the corners are in. Um, now we're gonna put the rest of the screws in. I think we got about four or five more to go. Also, ideally you would have some safety glasses on. I don't, so. Don't do what I'm doing. Whoops. So one broken drill bit, uh, snapped screw head, and we are installed. This thing is rated for 500 pounds. I'm about 200 pounds and I'm sitting on it. We're hanging outside of the truck right now and it is solid. It's not bouncing or moving at all. So uh, very impressed with this. We're gonna get the shot back out and clean everything up and then figure out what we need to do to mock up our bike mounts to fit them inside. All right. So we have these Rocky mounts. The axle goes through. They should look like they just bolt straight down onto the mat flat, but that's the thing that we're gonna have to change. So because this, width right here is actually not wide enough for our 800 millimeter bike handlebars. Uh, we do have to cant the handlebars a little bit or take them off. So we need to figure that out. So I think what we're gonna do is make it so the mounts are kind of like at a 45 degree angle so the handlebars are turned. Because when we do that, we now have to angle the mounts too. So we'll show you what we ultimately end up doing to solve that problem. All right, this is all the leftover hardware right here. So tons of stuff. If uh, anyone else is doing an install and you find a use for this extra hardware during the install, let us know. I'm curious. Bike is here. See how this works out. All right, so I think we're gonna have to do a run to the local hardware store anyway, so we're gonna get some measurements. The first issue we're running into, so this bracket right here, um, it's not gonna be flat on the mount. So it's actually gonna be canted um, with the suspension, and then it's gonna have a slight degree of offset. So I'm gonna have to find something, some kind of spacer that we could put on here to give it that offset. The other thing we need to get is some quarter inch hardware um, because we do want to bolt to this. This is wood floor. So because it's also wood and these bikes are gonna probably be getting a lot of side to side sway too, I wanna make sure I get a piece of maybe, a piece of quarter inch angle iron that we could use as a washer underneath. So we could sandwich this onto some quarter inch um, Flat iron. Flat iron. <laughs> yes, flat iron. Words. Okay, so let's uh, get the first bike up here, get some measurements, and uh, see what we need. Sweet. You're loosening it. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Shh. I don't say that out loud. Deidre, which hand's your right hand? Right. The right one, duh. <laughs> you can kind of see this is what that mount looks like. So we'll see how this goes. Look at that, clearance right there. All right, so this is what it would look like centered. And just so we all know, because I haven't actually tested this yet, we're gonna try to close it. It should probably not fit. I think these handlebars, oh yeah. 
So you can see right there, they're hitting quite obviously. We knew that was gonna happen, so the idea is that we're gonna cant these handlebars, like so, and then that way, once it goes in, tons of clearing. Um, the issue is, the cant raises this bracket about a half inch on one side. So we need to make a wedge of some sort that's gonna lift this side um, a half inch on both. And then we also need to get some quarter inch hardware. So uh, we're gonna go to the store, see what we can find, put the bikes in the garage and everything clean up a little bit. And uh, we'll be right back, see what we get. All right, everyone, um, we're back. It is a couple days after we installed the actual slider. Slider, that's what it's called. Um, so we ended up going to Ace, we got some hardware for the slider, some quarter inch hardware, and then we also picked up some flat bar and some angle iron. The idea that I came with, up with actually while we we're at, at Ace is that we realized that the bike mounts um, that we have, I was imagining in my head that they just bolt straight down into the base and we'd make a little washer to make them raise about a half inch on one side. Well, they actually have some mounting location on the back of them. So what I decided to do was get the angle iron and then adjust the bolt holes on the angle iron so that we're not making a weird wedge to go underneath. And instead the angle iron is going to raise it a half inch on one side. Um, so that's what I've done. I did that, um, cut the angle layer, drilled the holes um, a couple days ago and painted them. So they're ready to go. I've also test fitted. So um, today we're just gonna finish installing into the actual slider, make sure everything works, test fit, and uh, we'll be able to wrap up this build project, right? Yay. So this, this is the first modification on the camper? Yeah, I think so. Okay, many more to come. I'm gonna go put this back in the garage before I get dirty or hurt somebody with these. So what you see right here is actually the mount bracket all kind of mocked into place. You can see the angle iron right here and that's what we have the bolt in right here to this channel. Here's a, the finished product of what that looks like. Uh, it gives us about a half inch of lift on one side. And then we do have this flat bar on the bottom that DJ is showing so we could sandwich this half inch plywood. So I imagine there's gonna be a lot of torque um, put on this mount by the bike as we're driving down the road, especially as we get on some washboard or dirt road. So I wanted to make sure that we're just not bolting into the plywood so we do have that flat bar that's going to sandwich the plywood so it gives it additional support and we're not just pulling the bolts through the plywood hopefully that works maybe it's overkill maybe it's not either way i'd rather it be built stronger than we need than not and if it does pull through well then we know what to do next time uh, when we're doing modifications so this bit of the handlebar is actually hitting a little bit right here so maybe a quarter of an inch but this flexes a little bit, or we could also compress the suspension. So I'm not worried about it. Still that same hit right there. Lots of clearance on this side now. Bring it over here. This is uh, not rocket science, but this is not built for this. So we're kind of trailblazing here. Oh, perfect. Okay, so this spot looks good. DJ's gonna grab a Sharpie or something so we can mark this and get it all put in. All right, the rain is starting to come down, so we got our raincoats, but the first mount is in. Um, it looks pretty good. You can kind of see there's a little bit of shake to it. The floor is flexing, so you can see that. Um, we're gonna put the other bike in, see if that counterbalances that weight a little bit. If not, we may just have to add a little bit of extra support. Do you just make it a funny face? Somehow the cat got out, and he's sneaky apparently. This is kind of stuff that um, we deal with all the time with our cats. We love them. Okay, so this is set to jet. We got about a half inch 
lift right here, uh, which is what we determined would be ideal. And in this case for the other bike, it seems to be the case. I don't think that's come off since my accident. Yeah, Deidre had a pretty bad bike accident last September, actually for my birthday. And uh, she had a gnarly crash. Fortunately, she recovered. No lasting effects, and I think she's excited to get back on the trail. Nervous. I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you. So that's actually pretty normal for us. People are often stopping by. I thought I was special and I put it on flat and straight like this and I'm like, why is the bike canted so much? Well, that's not right. Well, it's because it's not supposed to be straight. I got to turn it. That all fits really good. That looks good. All right, let me mark. Easier than I expected. I mean, we put some thought into it. I think that always helps. You got to have a the game plan. I do like fabricating and building, so while we didn't build this camper and that was part of the fun, Kingstar did a great job of doing it for us. It gives us the time and energy back to do other modifications like this which uh, actually really impressed with this slide. It held me without any problems. The fact that it comes out on both sides. I mean, it is a 500 pound capacity slide. Evenly distributed. <laughs> I put a lot of weight in one location. I wiggle quite a bit. Quite a bit of wiggle. A little flex, like a lot of flex right here in the middle. I think all the support on the plywood is on the ends. Let's see, is it close? <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, so that's it for our new bike slide in our garage. Gear garage. Gear garage. Super easy install. Uh, we're impressed with the slides. Uh, the bike mounts are working fantastic right now. Only time will tell how much you know they bend or move or if we, they tear anything up. I'm on the road, but we're pretty confident that we could repair that if needed. And um, yeah, thanks for following along. Comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. You know, we're building this as we go. We're learning as we go. So I uh, love to have a conversation with you guys. So until the next time, have some great adventures. <laughs> Mobile yoga platform? Maybe. <laughs>